not in this room without a camera. I'm moving all over the place. Get our Scott job. This is kind of a top pinky side to side work uh, <clears throat> warm up. Diagonal chops. Now, push mode. There's considerable leg work being done here, even though it may not look like that from a head on shot that way. Tip grips. Yesterday, just for kicks, using the same movement, music, uh, I used a couple of five pound hand weights. And it turns out I generate a higher pulse. do an ISO. I also did a session in the water yesterday using aquatic ISO, which is really going to become a great exercise one of these days. There you can move the arms in either the air medium or underwater. Very odd sensation. Strange. But useful and gets the kinks out of you, as well as being a strength endurance exercise with flexibility galore. You can assume movement. I'm doing this in air, advertising water, but it works. And I think I will uh, take some videotape in the pool if I generate enough light in there. Push up. Now the entertainer. This is really superb deltoid exercise. And this is a song which is a slower tempo that you would do with these hard pulls, pull aparts, you know. The slow pieces you want to work the strength in. You can do it in the fast pieces too, but you got to be prepared to work hard and fast, which is, as I say, difficult. Now, bottom pinky. Bottom pinky, bottom thumb, top thumb, just to run through them. These pieces go about three to five minutes, and there are lots of them on this particular album. Super workout album for me, because it it's all Scott Joplin, and I like that. But there's enough tempo uh, variety. See, as you get into the workout, you want to put more and more back in. You don't start with your tough back work right off the bat.
tip grip switch. The other day, my, my grandson and I went uh, down to the local college stadium and worked out. And we, he of course, increased his, his, the distance of his baseball throws uh, over last year, but he's a uh, pubertal adolescent, so one expects that torrent of testosterone uh, to do that, but in an old reprobate, uh, between one's 71st and se se 72nd year, you don't expect to be able to increase your, your baseball throw, but by gosh, I did, and I can't really, you know, I've been doing everything else right along. The only thing I added over this year was was uh, ISO, and I am not sure it didn't do the trick. I'm not sure. I'm not sure either way. But it is uh, a fetching thought, and it, it would make sense because I know for a fact that I make muscles sore this way that I never made sore before. So I must be getting to certain fibers, um, you know. That I, I'm not used to using. Now you want to do some pull outs and get range of motion. After you do this for a, a year, you'll you'll be way out. I think somewhere in one of the tapes, I suggested that you get your hands travel two miles in a few minutes if you take them ten feet now some three D's Now, the secret here is how hard you're pushing. I can only guess that I'm pushing harder this year than I did last. That's what I've been shooting for, at least. One, one day we'll get somebody to rig up a little strain gauge of some sort, of, put it inside here, and measure the forces within the hand connection. Yesterday I realized something that hadn't occurred to me, and that is when you use a, a couple of hand weights, you're also doing ISO. <clears throat> because the grip between your hand, even with a strap weight, between your hand and the hand weight is isometric. So if you do a lot of stuff like this holding on, you know, it's very different than wearing a pair of boxing gloves where there is no isometric grip. But in the, in the, in the gripping process, uh, you're absolutely doing ISO. Don't forget the slanted trajectories. Now, the, the thing about this stuff is while biking looks like it's the same movement every time, it really is. And this, while it looks like it's the same movement, as long as I'm changing these directions in the trajectory, uh, and whether it's the top or the bottom hand that does the pulling or preventing, uh, I'm using different muscles. So the same movement, and I, I, I've said this uh, ad nauseum, I'm sure, but the same movement isn't really the same uh, pattern of muscle contraction. 
That's what exercise is all about. But, but then, you can do four by fours, which are just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're not going forward, but you're getting the abductor movements of, of the hips. Abductors. Pull the leg away from the midline, meaning. It's a very, we're having Fran, the hurricane, or it's, it's remnants coming through Pittsburgh today, so I'm dependent on all the light. There's very little available light. It's just tungsten. So, these may not be exposed too well. Now, you notice I'm doing these wood chops with a, a right hand down and right hand pulling up. I'm going to switch to left for symmetry's sake. Do great abdominals. It's the equivalent of doing a crunch, you know, kind of sit up. Except there's much more range of motion, much more force behind it, many more calories lost, and I can work obliques into, into the act. But a half hour of this goes really fast for me, and, and I've calculated that a half hour of this for me, don't forget, I weigh about 135 pounds. Junior welterweight or something. Uh, uh, <clears throat> if I do 12 to 15 calories uh, a minute, that's that's a pretty good workout. Uh, just 10 would be in, in, in this little half hour, be 300 calories, which is more than their. prescribing for many people. And I could do this for two hours a day, uh, you know, a piece of cake. That's, that's no problem. And especially if I wanted to cut down the intensity uh, to, let's say, 80% of what I typically do, you can extend the durations. See, that's where calorie loss becomes a great advantage. Uh, you can do much more, lose calories, about the only thing that would be diminished a bit would be, um, you know, the heart rate, uh, which would go from 90 to 80 or something like that. But uh, at a 70 heart rate, I can do eight hours a day of this stuff. I don't do it because I can't, but... Uh, it's, it's, it's more than within range for anybody. Push mode. Scott Joplin must have knew about ISO. <laughs> I know I'm not hitting all the beats right, but it's close enough that, like they say, for folks singing. Sometime I do five to ten minutes just down in this position. 
for a great quad workout. And then sometimes you can be way up here. But don't forget, if you hadn't read the book, don't forget these with the forearms at right angles to one another. It's just more different muscle com group combinations. Bottom thumb. Work the hamstrings, obliques, all the upper body. See how fast I can take a pose. Yeah, 85, 90 right now. It actually was scary because. At 85 or 90, since I have a 25 oxy impulse, uh, I'm using lots of oxygen. And people who are untrained in a whole body exercise, doing exactly the same work, might have 150 heart rate, especially young people. Young people, have, I think, have faster heart rates, partly because they have, you know, when you age, uh, you lose heartbeats. That's why they have you subtract your your age from 220 to get your maximum heart rate. So you're you're really working in a, in a cardiovascular sense much more efficiently as you get older because you're doing it on fewer heartbeats. That is if you keep the workload up. We use this one to practice, I showed you this, to practice throwing. We call it 3D because that's what it is. It's a three-dimensional exercise. And you can indulge yourself with a few sprints. The point is to keep, keep the tension up. After a while, many of these moves become, here's a progression, become second nature. After a while, you get to be good. You can do a 360 on these, go all the way around to the midline in the back. I'm not that good yet. It's a great ab, both oblique and rectus exercise. I figured I ought to put a yellow shirt on today to get all the primary colors in. You sure got the rest of them. Again, it may look as though I'm not working hard. And that's, that's the thing I fear most when you guys at HK, that you, you say, well, he's not doing anything. 
No, my heart belies that statement. Just by its, you know, for somebody um, <coughs> pushing 72, a heart rate of, of 90 or 100, which I always generate just about, is plenty fast. I love this song. You could actually do this jogging if you wanted. My grandson does. He just... For that one, if you want a job doing upper body stuff, I, I prefer the hand weights for that. This is when the jogging trail doesn't beckon because of lousy weather or whatever. Top thumb. Bottom pinky. After a while, those four, now I have to add the top pinky, of course, but those four become like mainstays of your moves. And it was a bunch of leg stuff thrown in. When you hop from side to side, and these are side to side exercises, make no mistake. You add about two mets to the workload, which is, well, which is seven milliliters of oxygen per kilo per minute. It's a lot. And to add two mets for me would be to add at least two, two, uh, whoa, where's my, hang on, hang on. I told a lie. I said I was on the other line, but we we know where I was. <laughs> and I'll call Eddie back. You know, when you can do these and get up to really. You know, these are workloads that are two or three multiples of what you'd be doing if you were doing rather brisk walking. And look at the muscles. And you can walk too. This is walking. We're running out of scrap chopping? I doubt it. After a while, some people say, when you listen to a lot of Scott Joplin at once, it kind of blurs and all sounds like the same thing, but it's not so. He's a fantastic writer of melodic line. And you should take the opportunity to get up on your toes. I don't know if you can see that in this. See, what you're doing is really a kind of a one-legged semi-squat up on a toe. So there's considerable work in the vertical, which is part of what panaerobics is about. Part of it is, part of it is whole body exercise, that is muscle loading. 
part of it is working in the vertical, part of it is a, fit, a fitness factor mix, a large mix of fitness factors thrown into every exercise, like strength, endurance, flexibility for beginners, for starters, <laughs> not for beginners. And then the last thing is the development of motor skill. Nice breathing depth and frequency. A little bit of gloss on my skin announces the fact that I'm getting a nice workout. Enjoying the music. What more could one ask for? Well, I could ask for a huge gym with $50 million worth of equipment, but I don't know that I'd do any better with that. You have to remind yourself constantly that you're dogging it, because in almost, at least in the early phases of this training, you're apt to, you're, you're apt to sort of fall asleep at the wheel. But when you think that strength endurance is the product that you're looking for mostly, and then flexibility, just that it's not even a verbal reminder in, inside your head. It's, it's just you're checking out the HC to see what's going on there and watching the trajectories to see they don't get stereotyped. That's also a very good piano player. I've tried Scott Joplin on the piano, and he's too tough for me. These right angles, remember? Tip grips. I'll pull out these tip grips for switch. Elbows up. Elbows down. We haven't done any clasps. This is one where the palms are right angles to one another. This is truly what you call a whole body workout. There aren't many. And none of the ones that are being peddled today, you know, like with a treadmill with a little handle on it. That's not whole body exercise. You will see a glance that it's not. To be whole body exercise, it has to tackle the whole body. First off, anything that just goes forward like that can't be doing some of the moves that can't be done without going side to side. So you can see, you know. And finally, Remote for the camera. 
I think we're about out of our 30 minute time, but as I can think of something else I forgot to tell you. I'm going to say that the clasp is a good one to do the 3D. Then you switch it. You have to switch them often because. <laughs>